Hello, welcome back to Afri Delight. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make this finger millet malted drink. It's a very nutritious drink and it's very common in Zimbabwe and most parts of Southern Africa. Please watch and enjoy. In my pot, I have one cup of maize meal flour. I'm going to add two cups of cold water. You need to stir in thoroughly until you get a nice thick creamy double cream texture. At this point, my heat is on low. Do not stop stirring, otherwise you will get lumps in your porridge mixture. Once I start getting a double cream texture, do not wait too long before adding your hot water. You need to add 4 cups of hot boiling water and you need to stir thoroughly in between each cup. Once I've added all the four cups of hot water, I am going to continue stirring evenly, ensuring a nice thick creamy texture At this point, my heat setting is on high. Once my porridge is nice and thick, I need to let the porridge simmer. I'm going to let it simmer for about 15 minutes. I need to make sure that I have a nice, even, thick texture which is not lumpy. Once I'm satisfied with the texture of my porridge, I'm going to transfer my porridge into a stainless steel bowl and place my bowl in cold water. I need to keep on stirring really well to make sure that there are no lumps. You need to let your porridge cool down. And I'm going to thin the porridge with a bit of cold water. Do not add too much water. The thickness of my hair is a personal preference. I like mine quite thick. Once I'm satisfied with the thickness, I'm going to take my masher and mash up any lumps that are there. With this formula I use, you are not supposed to have any lumps in your porridge. I'm just doing this as an extra precaution to ensure a smooth finish. Once my mayo are cooled down, I'm going to add two tablespoons of finger millet extract in a little bit of water, dissolve it and add it to the mayo porridge. You need to mix it really well. The finger millet extract is what is going to make sure that the fermentation process of the mahil takes place. You will notice that once you add the finger millet extract, your porridge will start to thin out again. So you need to make sure that you are satisfied with the texture. This is why it is important not to make your porridge mixture too thin. I'm just going to take a spoon and check my mahil texture. Mm -hmm. 
Once you're satisfied with the thickness of the mahel, take a cling film and cover up the mahel partially. Do not make this cling film too tight. It might explode during the fermentation process. Take a tea towel and cover it up. This is day one of my mahel brewing. You'll find that you'll start getting some little bubbles and like a frothy texture. You need to stir the mahel really well. At this point, if you think your mahel is too thick, you can add a little bit of water to thin it down. I think mine is okay. I like my mahel with a smoothie like texture. Just like before, cover up in cling film and a tea towel and place somewhere warm. Day three, my mahel are done. The texture is nice and creamy and smooth and it smells so good. I usually serve my mahel at day three because I've got young children who also enjoy this malted drink. If you leave it to ferment for too long, it will be quite bitter and the children won't enjoy it. Just look at how nice, creamy, smooth and flawless that drink looks. My mother-in-law taught me this recipe and I absolutely love it. I just usually pour my mahel in a jug and place it in the fridge ready to drink. When serving your mahel, you just need to add some sugar. I prefer brown sugar because I think it enriches the mahel. However, if you use white sugar, it's absolutely fine. If you want, you can just add a little bit of lemon juice to have like a nice zingy taste. Thank you so much for watching this channel. If you are new to Afri Delight, please don't forget to subscribe. If you liked the video, please press the like button and don't forget to press your notification bell so that you are informed when I do send new videos. Enjoy.